Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex and this month I thought we would take a look at the live TV feature because they have added over the last few months a lot of new channels to the mix. In fact, there are now over 600 channels streaming here in the United States and they are now in 180 different countries and overall Plex has access to 1100 channels which will vary based on your location. And what we're going to do in this video is take a look at how to navigate all of these channels, add them to your favorites, and also search for things. So hopefully you'll find some ways to make use of all of this content that you have access to. And before we get into this, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what kind of stuff we can find on Plex's live TV feature. Now the live TV channels are free. You don't even have to have a Plex server installed to get at them. So if you install the Plex app on any supported platform and you go over to live TV, you will find these channels here. Now when you first jump in, you will be on the Plex channels option, which is going to give you the full 600, which can be quite a lot to deal with here. And you can just scroll forever uh, looking for something to watch. Now, I'm currently using a Google TV device, but this will be a very similar interface on all of the other platforms that you might be using. And of course, this also works on mobile. So you can certainly go through the channel guide here and just scroll down looking for something to watch. But there are ways to make this a little bit more efficient. So if you hit the back button on your remote, you'll be brought up to this strip here above the channel guide. And if I jump over to Featured, what you will see in this section are all of the heavy hitters. So for example, uh, they recently got the NFL free channel on Plex. So you can watch the NFL draft right now, for example. You've got ION, CBS Sports HQ. Plex has their own 24-hour movie channel here as well. And of course, you can scroll ahead to see what's coming up. You can't record any of this stuff, but you can at least see what is coming on TV a little bit later so you can decide what to set up here in the background. Now, this is just one section because if I hit the back button up here again, I can scroll to different categories. So for example, they've got the hit TV section here. Now, one of the features of Plex is that you can have a server running locally on your network to serve media. And one of the things that that server can do is pick up over the air TV signals that you might get with your antenna. And I happen to have one of those set up here. And as you can see, intermixed with some of the Plex free channels, I've got my CBS affiliate here, for example. Now, I did do a whole video on how to set up an antenna with Plex, so I'll point you at that. We're not going to cover that today, but everything does get integrated here. So as I'm scrolling through my regular TV channels, once I get to the end of those, I will start seeing the Plex free content here pop up. So you do have a great way to integrate uh, the things that you're picking up over the internet from Plex's servers with things that you might get from over the air. So if we jump back out here, you can see they also have crime channels here. So these are uh, all channels that cover crime and court cases and that sort of thing. You've got reality, news, sports. You can kind of get the idea as to how you can browse through some of these things. But let's say that I wanted to add a channel to my favorites. So for example, here's this game show channel here. And what I could do is hit the button right over get a clue and start watching it. But what I could do here is click on the channel and add it to my favorites. And that way, whenever I load up Plex, I can go to the channels that I want to watch more frequently so I don't have to keep browsing through all of these different filters and lists of channels to get there. And if we jump back to the tab here and go to favorites, you can see that I've got three favorites here, including the game show channel that I just added. Now, if I wanted to change the sort order of my favorites, what you can do here is just go up to the top. And what you want to do is scroll over to these three periods here. And when you jump in there, you can go into manage favorites. And here you'll get a list of all of your favorite channels. And if I wanted to move the game show central channel up, I can just tap on it with the button here and then move it up, tap again to drop it. And again, I could move another one here in the same fashion. So you can get everything sorted out the way you want 
so that when you pop on, your favorites will be in the order in which you would like them to be. Now, you're also going to find some local programming on here. You won't get your local channels, but you will get things that might be on those local channels, like news and other local programming. So if you go over to the news section here, and you scroll down towards the bottom, you will likely see some things that are very familiar to you. So I am in Connecticut. I'm not far from New York. There is a cable news channel called News 12 out of New York. I'm getting their uh, feed on here. I'm also seeing stuff from New Hampshire and Boston. And over here, I have Local Now Hartford, uh, which is obviously from the Hartford TV market here. And this will be running news packages and weather uh, from my local area here. So if you dig around enough here, you will find some things that go beyond just one of these streaming channels. And if you find something that's local to you, you can add it to your favorites so it pops up every time you boot up. Now recently I did a video all about Plex's universal search, which will look at all of the Plex servers that you have access to, but also all of their content offerings. And I just ran a search here for The Walking Dead, which is a popular TV show. And if you go over to the live TV filter here and select that, you can see where you can watch The Walking Dead on one of these live streaming channels. And right now it looks like it's on two different channels right now. I could tune into either one of these. And there's also a channel called The Walking Dead Universe, which does nothing but play The Walking Dead episodes and episodes from some of the Walking Dead spinoff series that you can check out as well. So if you are looking for something and you don't have access to it, you might be able to find something streaming live on one of these channels. Now, because everything is synced up with your Plex account, when you do add a favorite or reorder things, those changes will be reflected on all of your devices. So here I've got my phone. I can see my favorites here right out of the gate, and I can go and play back uh, those channels or any of the other things that I have access to through Plex. And additionally, if you go to your computer through the web interface, it will look very similar. I have found that the web interface is a little easier to navigate, especially if you're trying to build out your favorites list because you can fit a lot more channels on screen here. It's a little easier to navigate with the mouse. And as I find some additional channels that I want to add, I can very easily uh, jump to them and hit the little heart icon uh, without having to click through anything. So if you are looking to see what's out there, I think the computer is a really good place to start. And then you can do some garden tending on your TV or other devices. So that'll do it for this update on the Plex free channel feature. They've added quite a bit over the last couple of months to the point now I think that they're leading the industry insofar as the quantity of channels available on their service, uh, with of course the NFL channel now being one of the big ones they just added to the mix. So take a look. You'll probably find a bunch of stuff that interests you. If you are using the antenna feature, it will integrate nicely there and you can put everything into your favorites here to keep everything sorted. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Budley, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Steve Green, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.